Hello and welcome to our Cambridge English Qualifications B1 Preliminary for Schools Reading Video. Today, we will look into part one. We will answer some sample questions together. But first, let's remember some very important tips that will help you answer these questions correctly. The first thing we need to do is to read the instructions. Then read the text and underline the keywords. Read all of the options and underline the keywords. Eliminate the wrong answers. And finally, choose the correct answer and look at the text again to make sure it is correct. Now, let's have a look at a sample question for B1 Preliminary Reading Part 1. Here is our text. First, read the instructions. For each question, choose the correct answer. There are five questions. Now, where would you see this notice? Hmm, let's have a look at this notice. For sale. Brand new game console, so... Hmm, where would I see it? Of course, on a notice board. Now, what is it about? What is its purpose? Hmm, let's have a look. It's about a game console on sale. Fantastic! Now, number two, we need to look at the text for the keywords. Brand new, bought two weeks ago, never used, call Larry. Once we identify the keywords in the question, we need to look at the options. Let's have a look at option A first. Hmm, what are the keywords in this option? Used his console a lot. Is that correct? It says in the text, never used. Hmm, let's have a look at option B. Larry bought this console recently. Let's find the keywords here. Bought and recently. Let's have a look at the text again. It says it was bought two weeks ago. So recently, two weeks ago. This looks like the correct answer, but remember, we need to look at all of the options. So let's have a look at option C. Phone Larry if you want to sell your game console. Hmm, does it say anything in the text about selling it? Hmm, which one is correct? Of course, the correct answer here is B. Because Larry bought his console recently, two weeks ago. Fantastic job! Here is our second question. Remember, read the instructions first. Why has Betty emailed Vic? Hmm. Hi, Vic. So, this is for Vic. Who has written this email? That is Betty. Hi, Vic. Please don't forget that our rehearsal is today at 5 p.m. Can you please bring a costume for me as well? Betty. So as we said, this is from Betty to Vic. Hmm. Now, let's have a look at the keywords in the text. Don't forget, our rehearsal is today at 5 p.m. Bring a costume for me. Let's have a look at the options now. Option A. 
to tell her that she isn't going to the rehearsal. So once we identify the keywords, we need to look at the text again. Does it say anything about her not going to the rehearsal? Not really. So, let's have a look at option B now. To tell her that she will bring a costume for her as well. Hmm, let's have a look at the text. In the text, Betty is asking Vic to bring her a costume. She's not telling her that she will bring a costume for her. So, let's have a look at C. To ask her to bring an extra costume. Yes, this looks correct because let's have a look. Can you please, so this is a question, bring a costume for me as well. So, she wants her to bring an extra costume for her. Our answer here is C. Excellent job. Well done. Would you like to find out about reading part two? Do you want to learn some tips and tricks? Watch our next video.